Child that is not embraced by the village will burn it down to feel its warmth. Story do you have? Someone I used to have in a support group I once helped run for sexually victimized and abused young men shared with us what happened to him. Basically, a TA was victimizing him. He went to other teachers, school admins, and even the police. No one believed him, and he even got punished for making it up to get a staff member in trouble. It destroyed his personality. He became bitter, resentful, spiteful, and generally hateful of other people. He was improving his demeanor in the group, but from what he tells us, he just wanted to watch the world die at the time. A couple of years later, that same TA tripped down the stairwell in one of the side hallways of the school and he happened to be nearby. He saw she was severely injured and likely had broken bones and was bleeding from her head. Instead of helping her, he literally stepped over her and pretended she wasn't there. Security footage showed he wasn't the one to push her, but when asked why he didn't say anything or get help, he simply said that the last time he tried to tell people about something involving her, no one helped, so why would they this time? Another story. One of my friends from elementary school he's the typical middle child, his brother is 11 years older, and his sister is 5 years younger. So, of course, he faces all the actual consequences for his other siblings' actions. Rules he didn't like were because of stuff his brother did when his brother was a kid. If his sister did something stupid, it was his fault because he should have stopped her. His wants and needs were never the priority. If he wanted money, no, because it went to his brother in college. If he wanted friends to come over, no because his sister already had people coming over. He had to wear his brother's old clothes, but his sister got new clothes. Yada yada you get the picture. When he was 16 he went out on a late night food run, and while waiting in the drive, someone rear-ended him pretty hard. Does a not insignificant amount of damage to his parents' car. The other driver takes full responsibility and offers to pay for the repairs. Just an unfortunate accident. Well, his parents revoke his car privileges. Because he got in an accident, and they had a no accidents policy, it didn't matter that it wasn't his fault. So he told them that if they removed his car privileges, he would never lend them anything for the rest of his life. They grounded him for saying that. That was about a decade ago, he has never given them anything. He had no money, no car, not even housing. He made his parents get a hotel once. He said he would forgive them if they apologized. To my knowledge, they have not apologized. By the way, his sister was involved in an accident a few years back where she was at fault. And her parents not only paid for the repairs to her car but also are helping her pay for her car insurance now.